Never take your hood down in a turn colony. I'm wearing about five layers, including gloves, and it's freezing, and it's some solstice today. Very cold wind won't stop. Since the storm, we've had near constant strong winds battering us. But despite this, new chicks continue to hatch. And more and more kittiwakes seem to arrive on the island every day. We also had a pair of lapwing briefly stop in the island, usually a wetland species. And we also had a brief flyover of a Mediterranean gull, very similar looking to a black-headed gull, and it's been increasing in the UK in the past few decades as the climate warms. And speaking of gulls, our greater black-backed gulls have nearly fledged, while our herring gulls and lesser black-backed gulls have still got a few weeks to go. Although always low in number, it seems that our black-headed ghoul chicks didn't survive the storm. This week I was able to catch up with a shag colony. We actually have four nests now, and all have chicks. And while not the cuddliest of creatures, they do look like little dinosaurs, which makes them cool. In the UK, we have two species of cormorant, the Shagreen One. And it's named after the crest it has on its head in the breeding season. It's also the small of our two species, and it has this sort of dark green glossy coat, also giving it the name of the green cormorant. The other species is the great cormorant, or more commonly known as Chatrusta cormorant. It doesn't breed in the scaries, but we still see plenty of them. Larger than Shag, and it has a yellow patch at the base of the bill. Some of our chicks are over a week old now and they've turned into bottomless pits, always begging their parents for more fish. Some of the larger ones no longer need to be constantly incubated and allow both parents to hunt. Despite these extra rations, they're still always hungry. But it's all worth it though, as you can see their wings are developing fast. Perhaps their stomach's not quite so bottomless. There's plenty of time to sleep that meal off. During this time, we record the kind of food the adults bring back and the size of it. It's mostly sand eel, but also things like white bait and squid. And also, where's my favourite turd Max gone? I haven't seen him sitting on top of the wall, or at the base of it where he usually is. So last year he nested on the other side of the wall, and soon he's done the same this year. Unfortunately I can't see what he's up to without disturbing him. We're getting another supply trip tomorrow, I'm really looking forward to that as we ran out of two veg a few days ago now. I'm really missing my bananas. And with that, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Bye!